Today, I have a special video. We're going to see what's inside of a multi-million dollar sports card collection. You guys know I've been into sports cards over the last little bit. As I've been getting into it, a lot of the knowledge that I've had, a lot of the things I've been learning about how to invest, what cards to buy, is because I've been watching a channel called Sports Card Investor. I reached out to Jeff from the Sports Card Investor and asked him, can I see some of your most valuable cards? And also, can you teach me a few things about investing in sports cards? We are about to meet Jeff for the first time and actually see some of his most valuable sports Sports cards. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to try not to destroy any of them. I'm really excited for this. Let's do it. Sports card investor HQ. And this is our man Jeff hey, right man. here. Woo. The man with the wall, sports card investor. Hey, hey how you doing, man? Good. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Sports Card Investor. I want to see some of your sports cards. Yeah, let's do it. Don't worry, Dan. I got you right here. You're gonna, you're gonna see what's inside this bad boy. I would imagine you keep these in like a very safe place. Yes, normally normally locked up in a vault, uh, <laughs> but today out of the vault uh, to you know to show everybody. Okay, so what's the story with this Jordan? Because it, it looks like painting. the 86 Fleer. Yeah, 86 Fleer from Jay Geeker Studio. I had him recreate it because you're gonna see the actual card here in just a minute. We're gonna go down, sit down, check out a multi-million dollar card. Multi-million dollars, that's, am I accurate in saying that? Yeah, I probably got two million dollars here in my hands. Oh my gosh, two million dollars. Now, these cards back here, I see a lot of them are from the 90s, which is like the junk wax era, yeah. right? And so they're probably not super valuable. Yeah. How did you get all these? Did you just buy them off of the internet? Yeah, these these packs are not very valuable. That's why I, you know, mangled putting them in the wall here and I was okay with it, but they're all still full of cards. Um, I got them from a local car dealer who I'm good friends with, and he's got, of course, thousands of these packs oh. sitting in his warehouse, so he, he was nice enough to give me a bunch of these. Hey, man. Let's, Let's do it. Just opening them up right now. Oh, that is a fancy case. Look at that. They're not even touching each other. Nope. Got to keep them separated. Can't have them touching each oh, other. Oh, <laughs> I just threw a bunch of mine in my backpack and they're just like bouncing around in oh, there. This is like high-end jewelry right here for men, right? We got <laughs> to keep it very safe and secure. <laughs> look at that. Oh my gosh. Whoo! Look at this professional setup right here. We are in the Sports Card Investor HQ right now. About to look at the most expensive cards that I've ever seen in my life. We've got this camera going, we have this camera in the front, we even have this fancy camera, which is, uh, check that out. Isn't that great? I'm excited to see some cards. All right. I'm hoping that you have something from, uh, you know I like 2003? Oh, 2003? LeBron James. Oh, well you I are. I have the box. You are so. in luck, you are in no! luck. No! How Wait. about how about the black label? You're starting with the black label the LeBron most James. Perfect LeBron James Topps Chrome rookie card in existence. What? How it many is, of these are there? Uh, very, very few. I think there's there's just a few. There's just a few in existence. Okay. Let me take a look at this guy. This is the white, so it's the most basic of them. It is. Right? It's not the, the refractor. That's the base Chrome rookie card, but the black label ten. For those of you that don't know how the grading system works, um, there's a couple different ones. PSA is one of the best ones, the biggest ones. I guess when I say best, I mean, when you submit something there, you're gonna get the biggest bang for your buck if you get a P PSA 10 or PSA 9. But Beckett or BGS, which used to be really big like five years ago, and then it's not quite as big anymore. The most valuable card that you can get is the black label, which is this pristine 10. It's a black label, it has 10 centering, 10 edges, 10 corners, 10 surface. So all four areas are a 10 and it's super hard to get. That's right, but but you wanna see the refractor version of it. That is the PSA 10 okay. in a super rare refractor. So these cards, this is the refractor. You can see it reflects life, light a little bit differently. This is an extremely rare card. And it these reflects are, life because it's yeah, so valuable. Yeah. <laughs> life and life right there. Okay, can we put a current around estimate? Prices are changing all the time. Like estimate of what you think the value of these cards are. Uh, this one's probably $150,000. This one's probably $250,000. They do This big. is a Tesla Roadster right here. Yeah. So there's the white, then you've got the refractor version. Correct. There's also a black label or black There's some different order. versions of the card as well. And then well. the most rare is like the gold. They yes. only made like 50 of those. That is correct. That is correct. But these these Jeez. uh yeah. But what I so what I chose to put together because obviously if you're investing or collecting in sports cards, you kind of have to have a little bit of an angle. So are you going to go after the most rare LeBron rookie, or are you going to go after putting together a collection or sequence of cards that may not exist anywhere else in the world? That's what I've chosen to do with LeBron. 
because I'll show you what I got going here. I have still not just his 2003 refractor, oh. but I actually have his refractor from My. every single year, all what? in PSA 10. What? Literally, and it, this might be <laughs> this might be the only version of this collection that exists in the world because some of these cards, there's only 10 of them that even exist. So for somebody to have put all of them together like that. I think I might be the only one who has it. It's an extremely rare collection. Maybe one or two else exist out there, but this is like a, you know, an amazing LeBron Topps Chrome, you know, collection. See, now this is the thing. This is why I want to do this video also, because um, a lot of people have collections of things and sports cards. Some people have massive sports card collections, but for them to go on their own YouTube channel and show all of these, it's kind of like, hey, look at me. Look how cool I'm bragging about my cards. But this is me requesting to see these and he brought the specials out, the big guns out. And thank thank you, you for show, letting me brag about my yes, cards. Yes, you can show I appreciate all of it. this on my channel. Show it all, brag about it. This is something to be really, I think, really proud of. I mean, this, wow, look at that card. That one in particular, so that's the 2007. That, there's only 10 of existence in the world of that particular card in a PSA 10 Number grade. 723 out of 99. Yeah, so, so you there, kind of have his number. There were 900, oh, that's, that's true, that's creative. Yeah, there were 999 of those made ever. But of those 999, only 10 have have were in good enough condition to grade the PSA 10 grade. How long have you been collecting these guys? This took me this took me quite a while to put together because some of these cards, since they are so low in population, you have to really hunt around them, you know, to find them. Most yeah. of these I found on eBay, uh, but it took a lot of patience and a lot of searching because they only some of these only pop up on eBay like once a year, you know, because oh they're very very rare. This one's real cool. That's him doing the chalk toss, that's, the 2008 really cool. refractor, which of course is kind of the famous, you know, LeBron, right. you know, LeBron look there. This is his actually technically his very first rookie card. So this was from 2002 finest. Now he was drafted and started in the league in 2003, mm -hmm. but in the 2002 Topps finest products, they put redemption cards in there saying if you get this redemption card, whoever is drafted first in the draft, once the draft happens, mail the redemption card in and we'll mail you back no. the very first copy of that person's rookie card. So this was the card that people got when they filled in the redemption. Wow. And I love the look at the card, but here's what's particularly cool. This is one of the only redemption cards in existence. Oh, wow. The person didn't get it filled out and send in on time. And it's too late. It's too late now. You can't them. redeem it anymore. They don't have them anymore. But what's really unique about <laughs> it, there's only two of this card graded like this in existence because of course almost all of them were redeemed so if you got one of these redemption cards you would have sent it into tops to get the lebron this person failed to do it but it's kind of a cool it's kind of a cool story to have the you know one of the only redemption cards oh, yeah. next to the card that they would have gotten oh, had they sent it in so i'll show i'll show you one more cool lebron card before we go on to some other players this is his 2003 sp authentic rookie card uh, on card auto, which auto cards of LeBron are actually pretty rare. Does he, not um, sign as many he doesn't cards? sign as many. He doesn't have a deal with Panini, who makes most of the cards these days. He will not sign Panini cards. Okay. So there's not that many autograph cards of LeBron in existence compared oh. to some of your you know, some of your other modern players. And so for this to be his rookie card and an auto, and it's both a Gem Mint 10 and an Auto 10. That's a, that's a pretty awesome card too. All right, I'm gonna touch your card. He's like, don't touch my cards. <laughs> I've seen you break things before, but I just like looking at these. I'm never gonna see these cards again in my life. One of the things, as you know, with 2003 Topps Chrome, you've got LeBron in there, which of course he was the biggest rookie in 2003, mm -hmm. but there were some other amazing rookies in 2003 as well, including Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade, nice. And that was his SP Signatures rookie card from 2003. Okay. And then you also had Chris Bosch, of course, they made oh, the big, they made the big three. You know that won the championships for the Heat, uh, and then you've also got Carmelo, Carmelo Anthony, yeah, who was, was a big say. part of that 2003 rookie class as well. So those are all of your key rookies right there mm. from 2003. And this 2003 SP Authentic set also is very unique and memorable in the fact that it's got the man himself, oh, Michael Jordan, Jordan, and a very again Jordan Jordan autographs are also very rare. Uh, because he doesn't have a signing deal with, you know, Panini or Tops, that type of thing. Uh, and so the cards that he, he, he only signs with Upper Deck, which doesn't make basketball cards anymore. Are there any Kobe's from that year? Oh, sir. 
There are indeed Kobe's. So there, <laughs> there you, go. you go. There's the okay. Kobe from SP Authentic. There's the That's Kobe. A, obviously, the Kobe autos, of course, are extremely valuable now. I like that it was um, the next card that you had. Right yeah, the yeah. People, people <laughs> are, you know, people who love to collect Kobe. Uh, the auto cards, of course, have an extreme premium now because there will never be yeah. another one, sadly. I grew up in Utah, and then I moved to Phoenix and went to Arizona State University. And so in both places, whenever the Lakers came, especially when Kobe was there, and he would get the ball, people would boo him. And so naturally I was always like, yeah, Kobe, I don't like Kobe. And so anyway, that's how, kind of how I felt. Then after he retired, I started watching some things about him. And I started to realize like he is an amazing person. I've seen some players recently, I won't name them in the last week that have, that have sent some like DMs and said some things that are not the kindest of things to send to other people. And I just look at Kobe and I think, I don't see Kobe ever treating another person that way in private DMs or publicly. Like he was such a kind person and so motivational and inspirational. So I personally like to collect cards of people that off the court, I also respect them. That's like my definition of a superstar. That's why I like Donovan Mitchell because off the court, he's just as good or even a better person than he is on the court. Well, you mentioned your your Utah hero. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, you know, I feel like we, we we'll jump over there next. Hey. How Wait about, a second. How about the Donovan Mitchell flawless rookie card number to 10? Hold on a second. I brought a few of my cards that are not super valuable, but check this out. There we go. Oh, you got it. Look check at that. Check this out. Look at that. You got the exact same card. Look That's amazing. That. How, That's how? funny. So there's only 10 of these in existence, right? Because it's yep. numbered to 10. And you've got card number... Nine. Nine of 10, and I've got card number five of 10. So that's pretty yes. funny. Look at that's that. That's great, and this one is graded, a PSA 10. Yeah, this one this I have one not gotten graded yet. yet. This one this one's encased from Flawless, so it, it you know was factory sealed, so I haven't bothered to get that one graded since it's got the factory seal. Right. But I could, and, and get it into, you know, hopefully, hopefully this would be a PSA 10 like yours is. And one of the things about these cards is that it's hard to, it's hard to get a 10 or like a, or a black label because they're autograph cards, like they're they're sitting there in summer league and they've got a stack. One of my employees, Matt, he worked for the Jazz for a lot of years and he would tell me at, at summer league, they would just have these piles of cards and they'd come mm -hmm. out of their game and they would sign it and they'd slide it over on the table. Yeah. And so these things, you have all of the edges on yeah, them, the yeah. corners, it's hard to get a 10, even though yeah. it's sealed, it still may be like a nine, which is still fine for these cards. Mm -hmm. But when you get a 10, I'm like, that might be even more valuable. So. Yeah, for sure. There I got go. one more Mitchell that I like a lot. I, I'm a big fan of Select as okay. a set. Select's, Select's actually my favorite uh, type of cards. That. I mentioned that on my show before. So close to a black label. So this is a, <laughs> what makes this unique is first of all, it is a pristine 10. So the pristine 10s from BGS are, are typically more valuable than the PSA 10s. They're mm -hmm. very hard to come by. But this is the only pristine 10 of this particular card in the world because this is also his gold select. So the card is Ooh, numbered to 10. Wow. So that's his select rookie card in gold. Only 10 of those ever made. And then this is the only one that's gotten the pristine 10 grade okay. of those 10. That's so it's card. so it's a that's a really, really prime Donovan Mitchell rookie card right there. Let's, let's go, keep on going. Let's go back to Kobe because we were showing oh. a few of his. That is his Topps Chrome I want pristine 10. The Topps Chrome cards of Kobe are very rare to begin with because Topps didn't make a lot of Chrome cards back in 1996. And then the fact that this is a pristine 10, there's very few of these in existence. Uh, so this is a, a very prime Kobe rookie card yeah. right there. I, I've been looking at the wax for these and the, just the box. If you wanted to buy a box of like basically the packs that are unopened, they're selling for around $75,000 just for one box to potentially get this. And it doesn't have that much green on it. A lot of times, right. this car, because it was the first year that Chrome, Topps Chrome ever decided to do this whole Topps Chrome thing, they didn't have the formula right or something because Kobe is turning into the Hulk in a lot of cards <laughs> that you see online. Actually, the one that sold for almost $2 million yeah, was this was a card. Green. Yep. What kind no, of... no, that was the refractor. This, oh, is, the, okay. this is the this regular is... Topps Chrome. This is the regular. Uh, yeah, the refractors were extremely rare that year, but even the regular Topps Chromes were rare that year, especially yeah. to get them in a good grade, like still turning green. Oh, this is my favorite Kobe rookie card, though. This is an incredible, oh, incredible I've card. This, this one. The Stardate 2000 Kobe rookie, uh, you know, gem mint tent there. Um, it's... Uh, just a neat card and especially you know uh with his passing and everything like that to have kind of a little bit of a you know angelic look to that card i think it's a i think it's a really neat one i didn't even think about that you know as of the filming of this this card's around fifty thousand dollars that last kobe that we just saw a minute ago the one that i just uh oh, yeah. put away that one's that one's a little north of that that one's probably you know more like 60 or so thousand dollars or so so you know a lot of these cards are kind of in that 
type of range. Okay. Um, you know, so a lot of these cards are basically one Bitcoin. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what we're true. looking at. That's here. what that makes it sound not as crazy, right? It's, it's just it's just one Bitcoin that's for it. a card. You saw the picture on the wall earlier. There's the '86 Fleer Jordan that's on the wall. I would imagine you've got at least one in there, mm -hmm. right? So let's take a look. Let's jump to the Jordan. 1986 Fleer card. Uh, I own several of those Jordan cards, but the one that I actually like the most is this one because it is uh, unique in nature because it's signed. And there's not that many signed versions of this card oh, wow. in existence. So the fact that that card is signed by Jordan himself right there, uh, I really like this card. It's also in very, it's, it's, it's in excellent condition. Look at that old um, PSA case. Yeah, yeah, that's an old <laughs> PSA case. They got this graded early on, but yeah, it's in really, really good condition. But the, the fact that it's signed by Jordan uh, makes that card real special so they, to me. Uh, do you even know how many were signed and graded? I don't. I don't know how many were signed um, and, and authenticated, uh, but I know there's not very many of these. I haven't seen very many of them. They'll, you'll occasionally see one pop up at an auction or eBay, but they're pretty rare. There's not a lot of signed signed cards out there of Jordans. So really when it comes to value of these, it's hard to even judge because it is such a rare card. Right. But estimated like if this thing sold. And you've got the sticker that's autographed also. Amazing. Yeah. I mean, I think together this would command at least a hundred thousand dollars these two together would command at least a hundred thousand maybe yeah. maybe more yeah these are my favorite jordan cards that i have um, that's amazing yeah love them love them absolutely love them all right how, how about a modern player i mean we've been doing you know okay. we've been doing all kind right. of a lot of the all-time greats this is a particularly cool zion this is actually one i pulled from a box i don't open up a lot of boxes myself because Opening boxes is a lot of fun, but typically not a great investment. And you know, on Sports Card Investor, we approach cards from an investment standpoint. But I occasionally get to open one, and this is one that I opened with my son. And we pulled this Zion. It's a gold vinyl. It's number to five. Maybe command between ten and twenty thousand dollars would be my guess. Nice. Yeah. So another player who a lot of people are excited about seeing what he can do this year, Kevin Durant. That's a PSA ten, and that's the refractor. So that's a really, really rare kind of the most key, you know, Kevin Durant uh, rookie card. Probably a sixty thousand dollar card. Another one in that same. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. I, I I would think so at this point. Another player who I like him. People Giannis. like is Giannis. He might have a good playoff run this year. Or two. These are two very, very rare Giannis cards. Uh, this one here is his 2013 uh, Prism Rookie, but this is a Prism Prism, which is uh, the predecessor to what is now known as Prism Silver. There's mm. only about 120 of these in existence Whoa. in a PSA 10 oh, grade. Okay. Wow. So that's a that makes that one an extremely valuable, probably again in that $50,000 type range for that card. So many. And then this is his. This is a stained glass <laughs> card. What I love about this, you can actually see through the card. Oh wow! Uh, you know, it's it's actually a clear card, and it's the gold version of it. So that's his rookie card in a PSA 10. That's an extremely rare card. And one of the cool things about card collecting and card investing is to pick up cards that are both valuable and good investments, but also mean something to you personally. Okay. And that's what this card does. This is the. Luka Doncic, Trey Young, oh, wow. dual rookie auto card, uh, and it's numbered number one of 49. Oh, okay. So there's only 49 in existence, and this is the first one ever printed, number one of 49, sealed from Panini. And it's their dual auto. And why this matters to me is because I really got back into cards heavy right before this year's rookie cards came out. So the 2018 basketball card rookie class. Okay. And so that year, everyone was chasing Luca and Trey. They were like the, the ones that everybody wanted. Mm -hmm. And so I too was chasing Luca and Trey. And I, I love both of those players. I think they're I think they're both gonna be future Hall of Famers. I paid at the time, I paid I think around two thousand dollars for it. <laughs> it's worth <laughs> I mean it's it's probably worth ten times that today would be my guess. Oh, so there's wow. your Trey Young National Treasures, number to 99, three color patch, on card auto, extremely uh, valuable Trey Young card. How about Joel Embiid's flawless card oh, hey. from 2014, his rookie year, that's the gold as well, so that one's also number to 10. We'll do a little throwback here before we uh, before we finish with a modern basketball card. We've done a lot of basketball, I got a couple of other sports here too, but um, that is a classic wow. card. This is the, this is considered to be Magic Johnson and Larry Bird's rookie card. This is 1980 tops. Um, this was an unusual set because the cards were perforated uh -huh. and you could actually split them into mini cards. So as a result of that, there's actually few, very few cards of these that are left in existence. As I've been getting into this and like learning about the cards, it's hard to know what all the values are. And so I think it's really crazy. So you see the sports card investor, there's actually an app that he has that's free. You can pull it up on your phone if you wanna see like the value of what a lot of these cards are. 
download Jeff's app, the Sports Card Investor app, and then you can go in there, type in the name of the player, scroll through the different cards, see a chart for how well the cards are doing, and like what the current values are, but then also see the recently sold ones and then also the ones that are for sale on eBay. It's kind of amazing, like, and I know this sounds like a pitch for Jeff. He's not paying me to say this. I'm just telling you, it really does add value as you're, if you're somebody that's going through a collection. A little pitch for the app, because I genuinely do use it all the time and it's good. So hope you don't mind I'm pitching your awesome. app Awesome, I here. appreciate it. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. All right, I wanna show a couple of cards from other sports. We've okay. done a ton of basketball. I mainly invest in basketball cards because I, I think they're the best cards in terms of long-term value. But of course, baseball cards have always been a giant thing in the hobby. I'm gonna show one of those. This is Juan Soto's. Uh, you know, Juan Soto is considered one of the very best young up and coming players in baseball, already has a World Series ring. And this is his Bowman first prospect card. So this is even pre his okay. rookie cards. Yeah. This is when he first broke into the minor leagues. Uh, and of course he's autographed that card. Did you know they make golf cards? I do know they Apparently make golf cards. Apparently you do. Look Apparently at that, check it out, oh, I got one there here. There you go, you got a pristine <laughs> 10, very cool. So yeah, this is my Tiger card, but it's not as rare, it's not the autograph. I did see this one recently and it was a lot of money. Yeah, these line. are expensive cards, yeah. So this is number to 900, only 900 of that card ever made. Um, obviously to get it in a 9.5, that cuts down you know, the pool of cards as well, because mm -hmm. a lot of them aren't gonna grade that well. Yeah. Uh, this is an on-card autograph from Tiger, so he's Ooh. autographed the card right there. And this is considered Tiger's rookie card. Tell me about a card that you got for the best price that has gone up the most. What's a card that you're like, yes, I killed it on that card, I made so much money, I bought low, I still own it, but it's worth a lot of money. So this card, uh, I bought these over Thanksgiving week of last year. So in November, I was, on a, I was on a family vacation. I woke up early, the kids were all asleep. My wife was asleep. So I went on eBay and started buying <laughs> Kobe Kobe's. Bryant cards. And so I bought a whole, I bought 12 of this particular card that week. And you can go back and look at eBay sales history and see, I bought them all for $2,400 each. And this card got all the way up to over $10,000 wow. just three months later. Now it's come down a little bit since then, Still. but it, it, you know, this card had gone up more than four X over the course of three months, hmm. which is incredible. And on our show, Sports Card Investor, that's the type of stuff we talk about every week, like the cards that are going up and down and because there's these crazy price swings. Okay. And if you can if you can get in at the right time, then you know those types of returns are possible. How often are you selling your cards? You're an investor. I yeah. know you have a personal collection, yeah. but if you're an investor and you're yeah. buying low, you've gotta be selling. Yeah, so that's right. So selling cards is important as well. So mm -hmm. these cards that I just showed you today, for the most part, are ones that I'm gonna hold on to for a long time. These are cards that I don't have a lot of interest in selling. Oh my gosh, we just looked at so many cards that are gonna go back inside of that bin. You probably have more cards that are like in a vault somewhere, right? I do. Show me today. I do. I do. So many cards. <laughs> I hope you guys like that. That was really good. Um, so many cards that are crazy valuable. And I think it's important for you that if you're thinking about starting your own card collection, go check out the Sports Card Investor app. It's a free place. That's what I use to look at my card values and just get started. It's a really, really fun hobby, but you also wanna be smart about it. You could really quickly go on eBay and lose a lot of money. So have some education behind it. I'm going to link Sports Card Investor Jeff's channel down below so that you can actually learn some really, really helpful tips so that you don't go into it as a novice and you can hopefully make some money on these things while building up your own personal card collection. But stay tuned, one of the next videos, Jeff and I will probably take apart a patch, probably because maybe we'll get there and we'll be like, we can't do it. This is history, this is a card, but we'll see. All right, thanks for watching. Sure. I'm taking pictures of these cards. This one I'm gonna send to Lincoln and his friend Boston because that's a cool card. Autographed by the GOAT, the greatest of all time golfer. He really has changed the game. So get better, Tiger, get better.